Hello there, my Geminis. How are you guys? Okay, what do you need to know? Let's see what's going on. Let's see where the spirits guides want to take us today. What are we looking at for Gemini? What are we looking into? Let's see. Oh, considerations. Let's look into the consideration. What are you considering? What should you consider? Let's see what that means. Oh, envy. Okay, so you know what? This is, um, people are jealous of you, so you have to consider what's going on here. It says, um, I am the same as everyone, but with different challenges. Yeah, so if you're achieving something right now, right, it's not like it just was handed to you. <laughs> you know, you had to work for it. Come on now. <laughs> I, you know... When people get jealous of other people, it's like they worked hard to get there. So don't get jealous. You know, do your thing and you'll get your um, comeuppings too. So let's see if we get this. Okay, so we do have the Queen of Cups. Very loving, nurturing energy here. Um, very intuitive. Someone might be jealous that you are very intuitive. Or they might be jealous that you're getting a little attention here. Let me get a charm on that. This could be a Queen of Cups coming towards you, too. Uh, that would be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Look at that. Looky, looky. Someone's jealous of some some kind of attention you're getting in love. Well, that's their problem. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Then we have here. This is... The Five of Wands and what do we have here? Uh oh, wait, wait. The Five of Wands and the Four of Wands. Yeah, you know what? It looks here that someone is maybe competing for something that you are receiving. This could be a commitment from someone. Someone else probably wanted this connection. And you are the one this person chose. So they are jealous. Hey. You know. The heart knows what the heart wants. So let's see about this Queen of Cups. Okay. So this is a Seven of Cups. Yeah. You have options. You have choices. You know. So, um. This card actually over here, it says truth. So it's someone speaking their truth about something. And you have um, about wanting you instead of someone else. Because they definitely feel like there's some kind of competition. And I um, mean, you got the five wands. That's competition. You got the seven of cups. That's options. And so, yeah. So now we have here. Um, this is actually the... Um, the page of wands. So this is someone coming in with a message for you. Just on, on this, these are Italian. This is um, Fondi Pastoni. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But this is dependence here. It says on here. Okay, well anyway, someone's coming in with a message for you. They want to connect with you. And there's someone not liking it one bit. But I said that is their problem. Okay. This is. Amundo. Amundo is the world. Endings for new beginnings. Oh. Is that what's happening here? Hmm. With the four wands. Someone might be leaving someone to be with you. You know. Well they made their choice. You know. Okay, that's what it seemed like. Let me get something on this queen. Did I? Wait, I need a charm on that page of wands before I forget. Okay, ooh, interesting. Oh, looky, looky this. Okay, so this is my complicated heart, right? So this seems like, yeah, there might be something where 
it's a complicated love connection. But now we got the the opener here to pop open a, like a beer bottle or a soda bottle. Pop. So someone's opening up. It's almost like, you know, like opening up a can of worms or something. But someone is opening. Maybe they was closed off to something, weren't saying anything. Now they might be speaking their truth and saying, and with this page of wands, saying, listen, this is what I want. Okay, so let's get something on this Queen of Cups. We have here Mystery, Career, Spying, Sincere. <laughs> Those are weird words, huh? Okay, so there's some kind of mystery here. Something to do with someone's career and someone's watching someone. But they're being they're but they're being very sincere. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay, let me get something on the page. But, you know, maybe they make sense, maybe not. Let's see about the page of wands. But someone's completing a cycle with the world here, too. We have the X Tower present. Okay, so this might be an X returning, too. There's some kind of surprise here with the tower. Something unexpected happening. It could be in the present, or someone could be surprising someone with a present, or they're surprising them with what they present to them. Okay. So that's the first one. Let's get another one. Now remember, take it resonates, leave it doesn't. Maybe part of this resonates with you. Maybe the whole thing. Maybe nothing. It is a general. So let's see what we're looking at now. Physical. Ooh, let's get physical. Physical. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. What is the physical? Why are we looking at the physical? Let's see. So we have abundance. Ooh, so something you're doing is bringing an abundance. So you are creating this abundance. And I think there's an affirmation on here. It is, I am... A luminous being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality look how that came out physical or physical this is saying that you are making something happen here you have the ability Ooh, I love it when it comes together like that okay let's see so you are creating some kind of abundance here okay keep it up <laughs> awesome Okay, so here we have the Four of Wands, commitment, desire. Um, this could be whatever you want. If this, if this is a wedding, if this is um, a job, if this is money, you are committed to doing something here, and it's coming in. And we have here the Nine of Cups, and there will be a celebration of what you are. Uh, there's abundance. I don't know. It sounds like a lot of money's coming in here. And we have here the Knight of Pentacles. And you know what? This means, uh, this could be a Knight of Pentacles coming towards you if you that's what you wanted, a Knight of Pentacles to come towards you. That would be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But I think this is saying, you know what? You were committed to something. You were physically committed. You did something here. You you put the work in. And now it's coming. To, you're, you're getting what you want here. You're manifesting this. Let me get a charm on this. Okay, yeah, you make the changes here. We have a dragonfly. You're going, you probably changed what you had to change, did what you had to do. Now we have the dragonfly coming in saying that, you know, something's happening for you. You're commit, you're changing things in your life. Good for you. Bravo. Bravo. Let's see. So the four of wands. And with the four of wands, we have here the eight of wands. See, this guy takes a little tumble, but you're falling forward. So it's like, okay, it almost, you know what? <laughs> it's almost like you feel like you fell into this. You didn't fall into this. You actually put the work in. But it's maybe someone else is looking at, wow, that just fell in their lap. No, you put the work in. You deserve it. Eight of wands is usually like a lot back and forth, something moving forward. I mean, this guy's taking a tumble forward. But hey, however you get there, if you get in there. <laughs> Let's see about the nine cups. So we have here Cave de Copper 
the, could the cup, I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyway, it's the Knight of Cups. So um, you're celebrating. You could be celebrating with Knight of Cups. There's could be someone also coming towards you with their cup of love. Could be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. Let's see. I just had, okay. Okay, yeah, there, someone's coming in to communicate. The birds to me is communication. So, someone's coming forward to communicate. And then let's look at this Knight of Pentacles. You might have a couple of people coming towards you, too. And we have, yes, we have, um, this is Lestelle. And it's actually the star, Aquarius energy. Your hopes, your wishes, dreams come true. These are the stars. You are creating something. You have abundance. You have the stars. You have, you know, you have the nine of cups and you have the star. The nine of cups is a minor arcana of the star. So your wishes, your hopes, your dreams are coming true. But you put in the work. The physical saying you put in the work and you create this. You manifested this. Okay, so we have here. The first one is the knight of cups. Let's do that. So we have here marry meeting closure options. Huh. So maybe someone wants to meet up with you. This could be actually this could be someone wanting to um discuss a divorce in order to be open to other options. Or this might be someone wanting to talk about maybe getting married and maybe them putting a closure to their other options. <laughs> okay, let's see about the Knight of Pentacles. In any way, someone is talking about marriage to someone. They might have to end it with someone else first. We have always realize memories, pleasure. Okay, so this Knight of Pentacles is saying they always think of someone in a very pleasing, pleasurable way. Okay, so now, let's do another one. Let's see what we're looking at now for you guys. What else should we look at for Gemini? What else? Your task. And your task is if you choose to accept it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what your task is. So we have here purpose. Okay. So I know what I am here to do. Okay. So this is saying you actually know what you are here to do. This is so what are you going to do? Are you going to do what you're supposed to do? I guess that's what we're getting at here. Let's see what we get on that. Ooh, are you kidding me? You're here. Your purpose, your task is to be the empress. You are the creator. Male or female, does not matter. You're tapping into your feminine energy in any case. So Libra, Taurus energy. But this is saying here that you are here to manifest, to create, to give birth to something. Um, you know what your purpose is with this card come out. So you are going to give birth to whatever this is. And we have here the Ten of Wands. There might be a lot on your plate, but it feels like th when the Ten comes out, it means this is coming to an end. So things are going to lighten up for you. Or you might be getting help to in whatever you have to do here. And you know, the Empress is the most abundant card in the deck. And now we have the Star. Your hopes, your wishes, your dreams come true. This is, almost feels like you... Look how this person is... Make this is a magician making that pitcher come to life and actually pour out water from the pitcher. So I would say that this is saying you can do whatever you need to do here. You're very talented, or there's things coming in that you can handle, whatever this is. Let's see about the Empress. So we have here this is this is okay. So this is the wheel of fortune, it's the wheel as called. La Rota? Is that how you say it? Anyway, it is the wheel. This is destiny. This You are destined to 
come into this it's like wow this is big okay why is it i actually have two tens there why is the ten of wands here though let's see so we have here this is oh this is a tower you are shaking things up Ooh, i actually like this i mean after the tower comes the star anyway right so there's like you're you're like really shaking things up here i think with the tower and you're putting the end to your burdens because it's like you're very powerful you're coming into power and you are manifesting something here wow you know what you have to do and you're doing it and you're enjoying it too you're having fun look at you on stage making that picture turn into water there and we have here the six of wands so it's like you're going to be getting attention for whatever you're doing here this um this six of wands actually has on here in the corner good fortune i don't know if you could read it but you try to put that up there a little see in the bottom corner there it's good fortune right here so got the wheel of fortune got good fortune you got the star this you know you're being blessed um you know you got the empress the most abundant card the the wheel of fortune the good of fortune <laughs> the tower the star and it's like an end to burdens this also would be saying that with the ten of wands is like you had a lot of responsibility a lot of put on you um the ten of wands is also you could become a workaholic it's like you had a lot going on Okay, let's do another one. Let's see what else we have here for Gemini. I'm loving it. Loving it. Reward. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, to me, this was already saying you're getting a reward. Okay, so let, let's see what they tell us about your reward here. What do they want to tell us about your reward? Oh, why are these cards moving here? Okay, so we got two. We got pride and worry. Okay, so we have, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. That's a pride. And the worry, it says, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Oh, okay. So this is good. You know, your, your reward is that you, you know, I think your reward is that you're, you know, you know, it's just like, you know, what's it, what it's all about. You know what you're doing. I mean, we, most of us go through life wondering what's it all about. My guys are funny today. They're singing songs in my ears. It's like, I got, what's it all about, Alfie? <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so here is the Six of Swords. You're moving on from something. Um, look at this. Someone took a gamble or something. You're moving on for any kind of um, stuff that was not serving you. And then maybe that was the worry. You're moving on from the worry. You're not letting the pride get in your way. You're just doing you. It's like, you got to do you, boo. That's what it's all about. <laughs> And we have here the two of swords. So you might be needing to make a decision on something. Ooh, but it's bringing in the ace of pentacles. What was our main thing here? Oh, the reward. Yes, the reward. The reward. Yes. You're moving away from something. You need to make a decision. Uh, maybe there's two paths to go here. You're probably not sure about what to do. When you get the two of swords, this is, look at this. This person is blindfolded trying to shoot a dart. And they might hit one of those little um, gnomes there. So, um, but this is trust your intuition. Use your intuition because look what you're getting. You're getting the Ace of Pentacles. This is wonderful. Golden opportunities coming in here. I think your finances are really going to take off here. Okay, so let's see here. So you're moving away from this bad time to something much better. You might even be relocating, traveling. And we have here, look at this. 
we have here the six of wands here we have the six of swords here and now we have the six of pentacles here which let's see what the word is on here which is i don't know i mean in this deck look you can see the word on the bottom it's treasure so we have treasure. You're coming into a time. You're moving away from something to come into some kind of treasure here. Um, that is, you're getting your rewards. That was for rewards. You're getting your treasure. You get the Six of Pentacles plus you get the Ace of Pentacles. You're just going to have to decide what treasure you want. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Okay, let's see. We have here, look at this. We have another decision. And it's with the Two of Pentacles. So here is someone planting a tree or deciding what to do here this looks like a money tree so whatever you're doing you're expanding something here you have decisions to make but um they're good i don't think you go wrong with either one of them so let's see about this ace of pentacles wow two two and now another two we have another two of swords so look at this two of swords this is like someone's killing off the demon here or something this is spite. So maybe you're putting an end to someone's spite. We started out with envy, right? So maybe you're ending someone's spite here. <laughs> I don't know, but you're. This is with the um, the Ace of Pentacles. Or maybe you're going to choose, make a decision just to spite someone else, just to get someone's goat. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Let's do it. What we do now is I'm going to do one more here. And then once at the end of the deck here, we'll do all the bottom of the decks to go with that one. So let's see. Let's do one more. Where are we going with this? Where are we going with this? I'm liking it, though. Okay, we have others' perspective. Okay. You can listen to it. Doesn't mean you have to, you know, do anything about it. And we have unseen influences on the bottom. Okay. So this is what you don't see anyway. And there's unseen influences. Oh, this could be interesting. Let's see. Others perspective. Perspective. What do we got for that? Fear. Oh. And this says, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love someone is living in fear rather than love and that's their perspective so what you, you see they are not seeing because they're not you're living out of love you're li you know if you have more of a positive attitude you're gonna get more of a positive result all these cards are very positive there's money coming in for you this is very financially beneficial for you you got someone that's envious of you being able to create this for yourself because they're living out of fear and you're not okay so now we have here service so it says the unseen influence is i feel good when i can help others see that makes sense too so the unseen influences are all the time in your life that you have done for others out of the goodness of your heart not out expecting something here you were a service to them it's coming back now karma's coming back oh yeah Okay, let's see about this other person's perspective and their fear. So we have here the sun. Th this is coming to light, I would say. They're also seeing that what you are creating is bringing happiness to you. Leo energy. And we have here, this is the Six of Cups. This could also be that you are... I'm um, happy about something that from your past coming back in. This could be a job. This could be a friendship. This could be, um, you know, maybe going back home to where you used to live. And now these people are saying, what are you doing here? And But you're coming back much better off than when you left. Or it could be returning to a past love. Something about memories from the past are happy for you and they're fearful maybe for others. But someone's seeing what you're going through here. And we have here the King of Swords. This, the King of Swords speaks the truth here. Might be harsh at times, but they will speak the truth. That's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. Bottom here we have the Page of Swords. The unseen influence, the service. People are watching what you're doing here. I don't know if you're aware or not. This is the Spy Guy, Spy Gal. So it looks like you are um, being noticed for things that are happening in your life here. Okay, someone's watching. 
So now it's dark clear of light. Oh, let me get a charm on this King of Swords. Let's see. What is this? Oh my gosh, look at this. You are getting gifted a pearl here. This could be a pearl or wisdom, or this is the same. And the universe is giving you a gift. Now, for this page of swords, we have here a star. You are a star and you're getting noticed. You got the star here quite a few times. So, yeah, things are going your way. I love this reading. Let's see about the sun. Why is the sun here? Get ready. Your wishes are about to be, all be granted. And we have another two here. We have the two of cups. And for this, the word is... Wow, the, this is harvest. On this card, is harvest. Yes, your harvest is coming in for you. See at the bottom there, the word is harvest. And that's just, that's what's coming in. This could be saying this is a soulmate connection that makes you very happy. It's coming back. Some kind of partnership. You could have a choice of two. Let's see about this um, Six of Cups. Oh, we got the Six of Cups again. F to clarify the Six of Cups. That is telling me I, I told you. <laughs> and this is, um, what's this going to say here? Oh, you know what this card is? I don't know if you can read it or not. I don't know if it's clear or not, but I'm going to try to bring it up closer. It says the wedding. Someone's coming back to marry you. Or you're going back to marry someone. Ah. And this king of... See, that's why someone's jealous. This could be someone coming back around that maybe they they might... You might have been with someone. They might have been with someone. They guys separated. They were with someone else. You guys are meant to be together. You might be coming back. And this person they were with is left in the... Left in behind. Okay, we have King of Swords. We have here... Yeah, there's a Three of Pentacles. There's a, a collaboration with this um, King of Swords here. And this is savings. This the, the word on this card is savings. So someone might be saving something. But this is like a working together, collaborating. And we do have, well, the bottom of the deck, we do have here the Ace of Swords. Someone's speaking their truth. And for this, it says force. So there is something that is like... A force unseen flu influences a service that you did. Someone has seen it. And this is the force. This is something that's being created. It's very powerful. Okay. So now let's get the words on this king of swords. Oh my God. Is this a good reading? Yes, it is. Excellent. Excellent. I'm very happy for you. And we have here talk. Separate. Apart. <laughs> Jealousy. Ooh. Okay. So there might be someone pulling either you from your person or your person from from you or something. And they want... And there's... I think you're going to both have a talk with the same person, maybe. Trying to get an angle on something. See, someone else's perspective. There, someone... I think someone that was involved with your person is trying to put their perspective on how they see this situation but this situation is golden this you guys have a very strong bond a very strong love that's coming together here and this other person is trying to come in between you separate apart jealousy so i do feel like this person is going to try to say something to you and if that doesn't work they're going to try to say something to their person or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe first they talk to their person, then they go to you. But I think they're going to go to you first to not let this person know that they um, are doing this. First, they're going to try you, Is I think. That's what it feels like. Okay, well, anyway, we have here the Ace of Swords. So the unseen influences of all the service and all you did, and there are people knowing some. This could this spy guy, spy gal could also be this person that is keeping tabs on you and, and their ex or maybe soon to be ex, whatever the case may be here. But there is a truth that's going to come out. Okay, let me get the words on this spy guy, spy gal. So we have immature, never desire sharing breakup 
Okay, yeah. I think you're, this, this could be the person that's trying to come in between you and your person. They're very immature. And um, your person, I would say, never really desired to share anything with this person. It was just, a, you know, a, a fling or something or, you know, and it's, it was like they knew they weren't going to last. It was something, it was almost like um, a substitute, a filler. You know, it wasn't something that was meant to be forever. But this person didn't see it that way. All right, so let's move on to see what signs we have here. Oh, and don't forget, guys, um, on Rumble, I do, every Friday, I do the all signs. And I um, they're time stamped, so you don't, you know, you don't have to listen to the whole um, video. You just pick your sign and um, go to that placement. But, you know, um, they're love readings. I decided to love reading. So, yeah. So, if you want to check that out. See how that, what you get on your signs with this reading here. It might be very interesting. You know, and you don't have to sign up. I would like you to follow me, but you don't have to. You could just click on Rumble and, you know, and check the reading out and see if you like to, um, it over there. And also, don't forget that I do offer personal readings. Below this reading, in the description box, above the comments, but below the reading, um, you just press more, and you'll see um, the email address. Send me an email, and I'll send you back the information. You can decide whether or not you want a personal, e uh, personal email done. <laughs> okay, if you want a personal reading done by me. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Okay, let's see what signs we're dealing with. Placement, your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have here Libra. Scorpio, Sagittarius, I just make them even, Aquarius, Taurus, and Pisces. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Taurus, and Pisces. Now we'll do the letters. 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last initial and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future also your own initials. Okay, we have here, we're starting off with a D, R, we have Dr. P, P, Dr. P. P. <laughs> so I have to get silly. <laughs> okay, S, L, O, A, O, M, N. Okay, so the letters we have are D, R, P, P, S, L, O, A, O, M, N. All right, guys, so there you have it. So take it if it resonates, leave if it doesn't. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, your super thanks, your donations. Thank you so much for choosing me to do your personal readings. I am so honored and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.